Hello friends, it's Mihaela Telekan from Healing with Foods and I'm back with another video. And today I'm even wearing headsets. I hope uh, the sound is better because of that. I'm uh, in my Atlantic Beach office in Florida. And uh, lately I've been talking a lot about the anti-inflammatory diets, the low carbohydrate diets, why and when would you want to use any of those. Um, and uh, today I want to shift topics a little bit. And I've said this before, uh, it's not a lack of knowledge and you can Google anything. If you want answers, you Google it. If you want results, you work with a coach or with a qualified practitioner that happen to resonate with, right? Or take a program with a practitioner. So I'm not here to sell you any program or to tell you that uh, you should work with me. Although, of course, I would love it. I wouldn't say no. <laughs> in, in fact, every one of the health gurus that you are following uh, here on social media or on pods, podcasts or Instagram, or whatever, anywhere you follow them, they are out there to sell you something, whether they want to sell you a program or they want to sell you uh, private coaching or some group coaching. It doesn't matter. We all want to sell something. And that's out of desire, of course, to help you transform your health and happiness. Uh, so I was saying I talked, I, I gave a lot of um, information lately on um, the what what it works for what reasons, like what is the anti-inflammatory diet, what is the low carbohydrate diet, when should you use it, what should you expect, right? I didn't go into the how to implement it, I just uh, was more of the knowledge is power kind of um, type of information, the, the same one that, like I said, you can Google it. But today I want to back off a little bit and talk about what is before that, before you even get to the point to go and search on Google for an answer uh, to your health question, you've got to have the mindset ready. It all um, is backed up by belief. Or in other words, I should say the beliefs you have around your disease or your ability to heal. Um, are the ones that dictate the actions you take. So it's belief or it's mindset that is behind you taking actions to um, get healthier using alternative methods uh, which involve food or exercise or supplements or meditation or yoga or you name it, right? So uh, what I wanted to say is it's it's important for you, first of all, to be clear on what you want, to set up, I call them big, bold health goals, BBHGs, um, BBHGs, know your big, bold health goal. It can be one or it can be many. Um, and you can even, uh, health is kind of broad, so you can say, uh, my big, bold health, um, health goal for 2016 is to get off um, any prescription drugs or diabetes prescription drugs. That's it's a rather a broad one, right? Or you can, you can say, I said a, to kind of help you reach that goal, you want to break it down and you say, my big, bold food goal is to get 100% off sugar, right? It's big and bold because if you eat food today that that you find in the supermarkets is loaded with sugar whether it is uh, because it's desserts or because it's ketchup or uh, sausage they have added sugar so if you would want to set the goal to go off all sugar that would be a big bold goal right so you first stage in this mindset work or believe work is first you have to be clear on what it is so you come up with one all the way up to 10 big, bold goals, right? And then once you are clear on the goals, uh, you pick one at a time. So you take one, so let's take the, for example, uh, the big, bold goal would be to lose 25 pounds in one year, which is doable, it's about half a pound uh, a week in a year, right? So it's totally doable goal. So if that's your big, bold goal, 
uh, you have to see what associations you have with this big ball goal. So first of all, you would have positive association in relationship to the outcome, right? So if you think of losing 25 pounds, you would be like all excited and say, oh my gosh, I'm going to fit in this clothes. I'm going to look this way. I'm going to be able to work out more because I'll be lighter, have more energy, all that. So you have positive associations with your goal. But then on the flip side, you will have negative associations with your goal because you will start thinking of what it takes to reach your goals. It would be like you have to wake up every morning one hour earlier so you prepare your lunch to take with you to work. Um, or you would have to wake up early and go for, to work out in the gym before you go to work, right, for an hour, 45 minutes. You would have to put time into shopping and cooking, learning to read food labels, getting recipe books, getting busy in the kitchen, saying no to uh, night out drinks. I, it's many, many things, right? So you would all of a sudden have also a lot of negative associations to be like, I can't do this. It's too hard. Um, et cetera, et cetera, right? So in order for you, again, it's the mindset, it's the beliefs you have around your goal. So if you keep your focus on the positive aspects or associations of you reaching the goal, it's easy, right? Because you're pulled by the desire to, to achieve that goal. However, because every subject is two subjects, your goal is going to have positive and negative association. The desire is to keep your, your uh, focus on the positive association so it pulls you into action. Uh, but that's rather difficult. And remember, what you think, you become. What you think, you attract. The law of attraction, right? So one way to deal with this would be, and this I learned recently in a course I'm personally taking, uh, with regards to to my big bold business goals, <laughs> BBBGs, but it so well applies to anything, any big bold you have in in life, uh, whether it's again food related, fitness related, uh, business related, health related, travel related. It doesn't matter. Any goal you set up will go through the same process in terms of the mindset around it that pulls you into action or inaction, or I would say action that leads to um, reaching the goal or pulls you away and further away from your goal, sabotage. So um, with the negative associations, what you do, instead of trying to ignore them, which is difficult, the, the mind will always pull because the reality, you have to face the reality. So you would, you would, before you would dream about the results, you will have to put up with waking up one hour earlier and going for a run or preparing the lunch to take with you to work. So instead of, um, having those negative associations that will hit you, you want to flip them, convert them from negative to positive associations. So to give you an example, in my case, I did this exercise with regards to my business goals. So I set a big, bold goal for my business and it's really big and difficult. Uh, would, it would be almost it's so big that it's almost hard to believe that I can even achieve it. You want to flip so going back to my example, so I set up this big business goal and I, I had like, I cannot do this because it's so big that it's like, I'm like there's no way I can achieve this. Um, then I said, um, I have to remember what, what else I said about, because I, I, I worked so good on flipping them that I don't remember the negative. I just remember the flip part of it. Let's see. So first I said, I have this big a uh, bold business goal, which I can achieve. That was the flip to the, I cannot do it. It's like too hard. Like to the too hard part, I said, I can achieve it with focus. So, and that pretty much goes across the board. Anything you want to do, you need to be focused on that one thing. You can be scattered all over and pulled all over. So health goals, you've got to be focused on that one thing you want to achieve and uh, don't let yourself be distracted by, oh, this quick fix or that quick fix. Once you decide that you want that and you want it the right way so it lasts, you stay focused. So I said focus, 
on purpose. Remember, I always talk, you have to do things on purpose, by design. You don't want to drift by default because the default, chances are, is not in your advantage. If you need to lose 20 pounds, your default is there to, to make you gain the weight. So you want to be on purpose. And that was in my case. So uh, I can achieve this goal with focus, on purpose, rewarding, transformative, and resourceful work. Rewarding because when I reach this goal to make this much money in my business, I will help so many people and that's so rewarding for me. And it's transformative because it transforms people's lives. The, the work I do has impact on so many people's lives and that in, in exchange is a, a reward for me to see that I am I'm able to uh, help people live their best um, healthy possible lives, right? And then resourceful because um, I, I will be able to get help so I can reach more people. One, I, I'll be resourceful. So that's in my case. So in your case, you would have to think, if I want to use this 20 pounds and you think it's hard, you, you're going to flip that to, I can achieve this. Um, and then with what kind of work? What kind of work will it take? With dedication, with commitment, consistency. So I challenge you to go and do this exercise, right? Your, your 10 big goals for, and then pick one of them and say, I want to work on this one. And then look at the positive um, aspects of it uh, and the negative aspects of it and try to flip the negative. So you turn them into empowering positive ones and come up with the words, the words that define that work and start enchanting those when you walk, when you bike, when you swim, when you wash dishes, when you take a shower. Enchant, always say those words to you. And I guarantee you, you are going to, to shift your, your belief around your ability to do that and it will pull you into action. So once you're in that place, into that mindset place where you believe that you can achieve, it will be easier to take actions and you'll have more clarity and you'll be able to select, um, the, the best way for you to reach that goal, because it's a lot, again, it's a lot of noise out there. I talk about the overwhelm, um, the, the conflicting information. But once you have that clarity and you have that mindset that you can do it, you are able to select how you go about that goal. So this is, is not about how. This is just how to get your mind and awareness into a place where you, you get into action. So I hope this was beneficial for you. Please leave comments below. And, and if you want help around goal setting, not this particular exercise. This way I already told you how to do it. You don't need to, to sign up for, for more than just go and do Set your goal, work on the positive aspects, negative aspects, flip the negative aspects, come up with your words. Like my words are big, bold business goal. I can achieve. So it's achieve, it's focus, it's on purpose, it's rewarding, it's transformative, and it's resourceful. Those are my six words for the next six months. I set up my goal to, to, to be reached in six months. So those are my goal. My, I even created a, an image with a photo of me, like being super happy and putting those words around me. And that's what I see every day. And I chant it in my mind every day because I want to take actions from a spirit of I can do it. Okay. So that's. That's it. And uh, I wanted to say, if you want more help, like with getting clear on your goals, how to come up with clear goals, I have a free program. It's called three day mindset intensive workshop. It's a series of, um, it's not videos. It's, it's, um, written exercises that you will get, um, over the course of three days four with the free one, like the introduction. And it gives you specific exercises that will lead to you coming out with clear goals, and, and envisioning that, and then from there um, takes you into, of course, taking actions, how you take actions once you have the goals. So this is, I have very um, wonderful feedback uh, on this program. So please, I will put a link below for you to get. This is a free program again, and uh, I, I know it will help you. So I invite you to take advantage of this uh, resource. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you very soon.